Mm. A white resonant wizard for me is <clears throat> through your channeling experiences, you inspire and the people around you are receptive to your resonating tone. You can resonate at any other person's, any other being's energies, all of the tones you can embody because you are the spine and all of the parts of the body are connected to the spine. So the seven can connect to all the other tones. And within that, that becomes very important to channel, being able to like connect the family, connect those energies to other people. And then also being a wizard, within wizard, it's like, this is all about becoming timeless. That's the whole idea of why we are following natural time, is to eventually get to a point where we are timeless together. And the wizard has been in a space of timelessness since the beginning of eternity. You know, there is no beginning, but it's within t with eternity. And so the wizards have, you know, have, it's, for me, it's like a calling, you know, to being like you, you have a specific purpose and, and fulfilling that. Mm -hmm. And people are going to be receptive to a wizard. Um, it's just like a part of their, their, their inspiring beings, all of them that I've met, all inspiring beings. Mm -hmm. I channel in order to enchant inspiring receptivity. I seal the output of timelessness with the resonant tone of attunement. I'm guided by the power of death, guided by the power of releasing all the old ways, all of the, the all of the conditionings that we as beings have gone through as humans, through the idea of like let's define the mystery, let's not have the mystery be this just divine. Let's define it so that we are then closing the box. And I feel like it's important that we are unlocking that box. And now we are then realizing that the mystery is more of like the divine flow that we can allow to just come through us and not be scared of it. Mm. Nice. Which is what, you know, like Nightmare on Elm Street and all those scary movies did. They took that mystery and they put it, they made it scary. They made you not want to go into the dark alone. They made you not want to swim in an ocean or a pond by yourself. They made you believe that if it's not written in the Bible, then it's not divine. Well, they wrote the Bible on experiences like these right now. It was just somebody taking the time to write down the divine experiences that we all share every moment here at Seaview, every moment that we live. Mm. And within that, it's like realizing like, okay, like we're living that, you know, gospel, we're living that divine flow. And so being open to the mystery and not letting those conditionings affect us, being unattached, you know? I feel like the more we connect into that mystery and the more we connect into that, the, the realization that unattachment is probably the most important, which is why monks become, they give, up, give away all of their things because, not because they want to, you know, because they think that these belongings are something or material, they're giving them away because when you really dive into the deepest state of timelessness and with it through meditation or whichever way that you connect to the divine flow, the only thing that brings you out of that space is an attachment to something that is considered me, mine, or my, or I. And so if all of those things in the material sense are not present around you any longer, then why can't you just stay in that state of divine flow? all the time and so an attachment allows those doors to open as we're putting our intentions each morning saying the affirmation each morning connecting to like all of the like directions and all of this energy is going into it your heart is then like connecting to here's the globe and it's like okay I just created the whole entire world that is going to be around me the world is what I think it is and Every day I walk out of that, you know, space, it's like, okay, the world is as I think it is, you know? And every day I'm reminded of that. It's like the sun hits me and these moments right now we're sharing and I'm like, okay, yeah, this is exactly what I would love to be in. <laughs> this is the, 
you know, instead of living in heaven, it's like, I am heaven, you know, like the, the heaven is, it's not even I anymore, it's just heaven. <laughs>